November is National Family Caregivers Month, and for those with ALS, caregivers have a really big job. Yeah, and did you know that veterans are twice as likely to develop ALS than those who have not served in the military? Here to raise awareness of the disease in this community, former Army medic Juan Reyes, who has ALS, and his sister and caregiver Angie. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good All right, morning. Juan, let's start with you and have you share your story about being diagnosed with ALS. I was diagnosed uh, with ALS October of 2015 after experiencing some uh, symptoms that were concerning for about a year. Uh, it started with weakness in my left hand and then it transitioned to my right. Eventually, uh, I ended up having difficulty walking and I was tripping. Uh, more often than uh, typical. Angie, let's talk a little bit about your role in your brother's life and how your relationship has changed through this process. Our relationship, it, it has changed in, in just many different ways. Before, we, we didn't get to see each other as much, but since I became his caregiver, I get to spend a lot of time with him and we get to get to know each other and we're just we just take the time to to look at every day with um, with a little bit of hope and just just get to know each other again sure Juan let's talk a little bit I guess we were surprised I'm hearing that veterans are more susceptible to ALS so what is it you want that community to know about this disease <clears throat> Unfortunately, there uh, isn't a real understanding of what causes uh, uh, the increased frequency amongst veterans, and so that makes it very difficult to uh, diagnose. <clears throat> I would encourage fellow veterans to be tr strong self-advocates and to be persistent <clears throat> if they um, have concerns regarding their health. <clears throat> um, there's considerable resources uh, available uh, through the Veterans Administration and also in your, in, uh, your community. <clears throat> I would definitely encourage them to uh, <clears throat> be strong self advocates and to make sure that their families are engaged in not just uh, the pursuit of their health care, but <clears throat> in their everyday uh, care and activities. Juan, thank you so much for sharing your story and Angie, for you as your role as a caregiver. I know the appreciation from your family and beyond is there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.